Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today in this video, we will discuss how to follow up customers on invoices and get the payments done faster. So it is essential for any business to track and collect the payments when they are overdue. So order 15 will help you to identify the customer payments that are late and also it will allow you to send appropriate reminders regarding the payments. So here when you open accounting, you can track all the customer invoices from here. Then the customer payments done. And along with this, you can find a follow up report. So this shows the follow up information like here we can find all the follow up reports. So these are by default filtered by customer invoices and the customer invoices that need of action. So from here we can find the overview invoices and can close this in need of action to view all the reports. And you can also filter reports by uh, overdue invoices. So here we have an overdue invoice. We can find the name of the customer and the total due, total overdue. Now, before coming into the report, let's see how we can plan a follow-up process. So here, under configuration, we can define follow-up levels. So if you open this, we can find the different levels already configured in Voodoo. Like we can send a first reminder email to the customer. Then we can send a second reminder letter and email. And we can call the customer to remind them for the third time and you can send, uh, you can see urging reminder email, urging reminder letter. Like this way, we have different follow-up levels. And here you can click on a follow-up level and you can see the configuration done. So inside a follow-up plan, you can define several actions. And here you can see these are the actions available uh, by default in Odo. So you can send an email to the customer, send an SMS, print the letter or send the letter or you can also perform some manual actions and you can also automatically execute uh, action or you can find a checkbox to join open invoices and you can also customize the message uh, any way you want. So here you can uh, view the message, then the email subject description. And here you can add your customized messages. And here you can find uh, some keywords that can be used in the text. Like if you provide partner underscore name, then there you will be able to find the partner name. Then you can provide current date, username, company name, amount due by the partner. So like this way, you can customize uh, the SMS, mail or message that you want to send. And after editing the message template, here we can set the number of days after the due date of the invoice to wait before sending the email. So here it is set as 15, like after 15 days overdue, uh, this first reminder email will be sent. And you can add a negative before the number if you want to remind some days before the overdue, that is before the due date. And like this way, you can find other follow-up levels created. Then as I said before, here we can enable manual action and you can define the manual action that needs to be done. So here I'm adding responsible person and the manual action type, like you can plan a call or meeting with the customer and here we can add the action to do. Yeah. 
Now, let's create an invoice for a customer. Like And choose a customer and invoice date and setting the due date as 9 December. So according to the follow-up level that we have set, uh, 15 days before the invoice due date, we have to send the first reminder email. So 15 days before 9 is 24 November. So, an email have to be sent today and then with the journal and here we can add the private detail. So, here we can confirm the invoice. So, invoice is generated but the payment is not done by the customer. Now, let's check the customer follow-up report. Here we can see uh, we have a follow-up report uh, for Bowman, which is in need of action. So here when you open this report, you can see the details like here is the first reminder email that need to be sent to this customer Bowman. You can uh, view the mail subject and the content like mail body. Here it's also possible to edit the body. And along with this, you can see all the payments that need to be done by the customer. Here we can find the invoice that we have just generated for the customer, uh, the invoice date and the due date. And along with this invoice, you can find the other invoice details. And you can also mark a customer as good debtor, normal debtor, or bad debtor. So this is actually the trust level for your customers. Now it's time to send a reminder. So for that, you can click on the send by email. And you can see the follow up report was successfully emailed. Here we can find the email ID of the customer. And you also can find other actions like you can print the letter, send by post, send by SMS. And if you want to remind later, you can click on remind me later. And you will get the next report according to the next reminder date set here. You can see the next reminder date is January 8, 2022. And then here we have the manual action that we have defined inside the follow-up level, first reminder email. So you can call the customer and check if the amount is paid. So you can see manual action done to call the customer and check the amount is paid or not then you can also mark this as done so so you can see our first level of follow-up is done like to send reminder email to the customer regarding the payment then from here you also have an option to send reminders as batch Like here you can choose the reports and from action you have the option to process follow-ups. So this is how we follow up the customers on invoices and make sure that you reconcile your bank statements before launching your follow-up process because uh, you have to avoid sending a statement to a customer that has already paid you. So that's all for this video. And if you have any doubt regarding uh, generation of customer invoices uh, or vendor bills, you can check the link above.
and if you require any odo implementation or customization in your business drop a request to odo@cybrosis.com